Hey, how you doing? It's me, Kevin Clark. Let's jump straight into the scripture. Jeremiah 32, 27. First of all, Holy Spirit, just put whatever needs to be in my mouth and whoever's listening to this, let them be blessed. And I love you and thank you for everything. And Jeremiah 32, 27. Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? I look at that scripture and like behold it's like <laughs> statement attention I am the Lord so this is just bold language right here I am the Lord the God the God not a God of all flesh yeah everything that you can see in the materialistic realm yeah God is God of all of it all flesh is there anything too hard for me now i recently went for a battle where i was struck with like two seizures you know i was happily driving my van then all of a sudden i started feeling sick and it got to the stage where my wife had to call an ambulance and i went to um, a and e and i was waiting and whilst waiting i suffered two seizures i i then got pneumonia and I was rushed to the intensive care unit and I had meningitis, you know, and um, I was then in a coma for seven days and I was fighting for my life. I had a stroke on the right hand side of my face as well and I remember being in this position, coming out of this coma. It's like I knew the spirit man was sharp but the, the flesh was just lying down inside this hospital bed my body you know and in my own strength i couldn't do anything but i had to continue to use everything that i'd learned um as a man in christ the word of god greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world i'm the head not the tail above only and not beneath i can do all things through christ that strengthens me I had people praying for me from all over the world and my loving family and all of this support was translating into strength and the word hope was alive and as a result of this I was becoming much more stronger I then started to move around and I remember looking outside the window to my left it's like I didn't know where I was at first and then I started to get the idea that I was in a hospital I'm looking around um, I'm looking outside the window, looking at the blue sky, and I'm thinking, wow, this sky looks beautiful. Where am I? What's happened? And, you know, I start, I start coming around, and then it's like, wow, I'm here. And I needed help, and I find myself calling on the Holy Spirit, the person of the Holy Spirit, to help me. And I've never been in a position fighting for my life like this before in my whole entire life or the Holy Spirit, the person of the Holy Spirit, it's like an immediate response was to ask for help based upon what I learned. Um, please help me, Holy Spirit, go to the toilet, walk to the toilet, walk back from the toilet. Holy Spirit, I need your help. Help me, Holy Spirit. I was jumping into my Bible and I was studying the word and listening to the word and it's like the word of God came alive, the Holy Bible, the scriptures, and it all started making sense the um right here and right now as i'm speaking to you i've been studying more of the godhead god the father god the son and god the holy spirit um and how they all are equal and have different roles to play you know and the holy spirit the person of the holy spirit i'm so grateful and thankful that i'm here today to share this with you because the lord is real god is alive the father is alive jesus is alive the holy spirit is alive and the holy spirit has sent god has sent us the holy spirit jesus has given us the holy spirit to help us is our helper right to do greater work we have work on our hands and i am just so thankful and it's not by happenstance that you're listening to this and if you don't have a relationship with the Lord if you haven't given your life to 
Jesus. Maybe you've been in a position where it's like, yeah, I've heard about all of this Jesus stuff. Yes, he died for me and Rose again so that we can have everlasting life. But maybe you've heard this, but you've not believed. Or, you know, you've been close to just asking him to come into your life, but you've not done it. But I sincerely encourage you, because like me in the van that day, you know, taking life taking it at its pace like I'm in control of all the time the reality is I am not in control of time and what I do know is there's purpose on your life there's purpose on my life there's purpose on your family's life and God has a plan for you and the way to the Father is through the Son right so it's the Holy Spirit that has led me to speak these words and to proclaim the truth Jesus is the way the truth and the life and it doesn't matter where you've been or what you've done ask him to come into your life it's simple Jesus died for you and rose again so that you can have everlasting life and God gave us his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life so just basically ask the Lord Jesus to come into your life give your life to Jesus He's got plans for you, he's got a purpose for you. It doesn't matter where you've been or what you have done. So you can pray this prayer with me if you want. Okay, it's very simple. Let's do it. Lord Jesus. That's right, just repeat the words. Lord Jesus, I believe that you died for me and that you rose again three days after so that I can have everlasting life. I give my life to you. I give everything to you. Come into my life. I am ready to walk with you. I am ready and thank you. Thank you so much for laying down your life for me so that I can have everlasting life. Thank you. Amen. Now if you've prayed that prayer, wonderful, heaven's rejoicing. You are born again. What's very important at this stage is for you to get more understanding because you've crossed over into another realm. I'm so happy for you. But now it's time for you to be discipled and to get understanding. So you need to connect to a body of believers, a, a church where Jesus Christ is Lord and the Holy Spirit, yeah? The Holy Spirit is alive in that church so that you can get more understanding. Get yourself a Bible, a King James Version, Amplified Bible. Start reading it. Don't be too concerned about um, how quick you are learning stuff and things. Just get tucked in. But most importantly, ask the Holy Spirit to help you and he will guide you into all truth, right? Connect with people that are reading the word and that believe and that trust, rely and depend on the Lord, okay? Jesus Christ is Lord. I'm really super excited about your future. If you want to connect with me, there's some details in the description box. Simply click on the link. It will take you to a site, kevinclark.net. I've got resources there so that you can grow. So that you can grow as a person in Christ. As a Christian, you are more than a conqueror. You're the head, not the tail, above only and not belief. Greater is he that's in you than he that. So that's it from me. Kevin Clark, believing in you, and remember, Jesus is Lord. God bless.